Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, see you Thursday. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Today it's Tuesday and I got a gig on Thursday. Someone was sick. I don't know if it was Corona or not, but someone got sick anyway. So they need some replacement for entertaining at a restaurant. And this is a new place for me. So there's a lot of questions to ask. And I thought I would tell you about those questions today. So this place is about 220 kilometers from my city. What's that? 150 miles maybe? Uh, through the woods, forests, trees, a lot of trees. A huge amount of trees, actually. Trees, trad in Swedish, trad. Okay, so I've never been to this place before, but let's see how far we are. Tall Åsen, 39 minutes by car, 48 kilometers, and I'm on the right way, so that's good. So let's continue. Just parked my car, I think I found it. So let's go inside and see what they have and see what I have to bring from my car. It doesn't look like I need so many things here. I'm but I like to sing in my own microphone, so I will go and get that. This is the staff room at the restaurant, and uh, nobody is here. They are here when they are changing clothes, and me when I'm having dinner before work. And that was one of my questions. What's included? Travel expenses, dinner, hotel, Hotel wasn't included, but the schedule for playing is from 7 in the evening to 10 in the evening. So that means that I can drive home tonight. Nice. Hmm. When they called, I also asked what kind of approach they want from the entertainer towards the audience, what image they want. Do they want party? Do they want soft? Do they want cozy? Do they want uh, familiarity? And they say it's up to the entertainer. I I'm not really sure I like that. Because uh, let's say that you're hiring a carpenter to make a chair. Then you know what kind of style you want from your chair, what color and things like that. And you can leave a little bit to the artistical freedom for the, car for the carpenter. But you still say the direction of the share to the carpenter. I like when clients do that to me as an entertainer. So I asked a lot of questions just to know what they want from the entertainer. Another thing, of course, is equipment. They told me that they had some speakers, mixing console, piano and such at the place. So I asked them what they had and they described it to me. They didn't know the brands or anything, but I was okay with it. But I had to ask what kind of piano it was, because that's the most important thing for me. It doesn't have to be the best piano in the world, but it has to be okay. Otherwise, I can't do my job. In this case, it was a Yamaha CP300, so I'm fine with that, because that's one of my favorite pianos for this purpose. I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her I'm a bad boy For breaking her heart I'm free Free falling I'm so long out there for all keep Of course, we also have to talk about payment before 
the gig. And normally there's a standard, a lower limit and a higher limit, and you have to sort of be in between those lines to get the job. If you're under, people don't think that you're good, so you won't get the job. If you're over, you're too expensive, so you won't get the job either. And three hours after my performance, I have arrived to my city and I'm soon home. I almost forgot. Of course, you should ask when you should be there at the place and when it's good time, when it's good time to do a sound check. Oh, hold on. This place is a restaurant that opens 11 in the morning and uh, closes at 10 in the evening. I asked when is it a good time to do a sound check and they said whenever you want. But I still want to, to do that when there's less people in the restaurant. So I was there at around 5 o'clock in the afternoon and most of the dining guests arrived at 6 o'clock. So that was a perfect time. Home. Home. A friend said once, a friend that sadly had passed away, but he said that when you're gonna take a gig, there's a few criteria that had to be fulfilled. Uh, this is in no particular order. One is, of course, money. Uh, how much do they pay you? One is, uh, is it fun? Is it, is it with fun people? Is it with people you enjoy spending time with? One is, do you learn something by it? Is this a challenge? So you learn something taking this gig. And the fourth is, is this a client that's gonna hire you more times? Is this good for your PR, etc.? Two of those criteria should be fulfilled for you to accept a gig. Which two is different from gig to gig, of course. I'm gonna eat a sandwich and go to sleep. So until next time, I'll do that.